Hey everybody, welcome to another gameplay video. This time around, 50 Classic and Racing Games by Dream Gear Plug and Play. It says 50 and 1 on the controller. Uh, this is something I picked up recently. Of course, for cheap, so. <laughs> anyway, we'll check that out. It is a classic plug and play, as you can see. Um, it's got your uh, A and B buttons, and the buttons are right above them are just the same as those, except they're turbo. Uh, you see your D-pad on the, uh, well, actually on this side right here, the D-pad. Not the best looking D-pad. It kind of reminds me of a Sidewinder D-pad, which if you know that the Sidewinder controller was way back in the day by Microsoft, they're not that great looking. Almost kind of reminds me of the um, uh, the, the Duke, the uh, Xbox controller, the original, original Xbox and the original controller, huge controller. I think the D-pad is kind of similar to that. Um, it's got a little stick up there. It looks like an analog stick and it's even got like a little, you can even press the button, which I don't know how much, uh, if that actually registers as a button, but you can press it down. It doesn't feel too sturdy, but <laughs> and it's analog. I, I think it's analog. I have no idea. Um, you got your reset and start buttons in the middle. Left is your reset, which I'm assuming will take you back to the menu. Start button will start the game, looks like. It's got your LED light. This plug and play um, has, you can see that, it's got three, three AA batteries instead of four, so it's not your typical standard. Um, so that's interesting. Um, we will check that out as well. The uh, switch, the on and off switch is on the top, so it's like in your shoulder right there. Shoulder button right up there. Where I, I'm wiggling my finger, that's your on and off switch. Anyway, let's go diving into this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, before I even try playing this, I'm going to say, I bet you, just a hunch, there's a lot of games here that uh, I've played before. <laughs> but anyways, the Dream Gear plug and play video game system. All right, let's check that out. Bye. By the way, we've got, all right, we got 50 games. Even the setup looks kind of similar. Whew. Yep, <laughs> that familiar look to it. So I'm pretty sure I haven't reviewed this. I did the the, the one that looks like this. It had like the 32 in it, but I'm pretty sure I haven't done this. So we will play them. <laughs> We've got Arrow Engine uh, starting off number one. Let's uh, play that. Which obviously I played this. Let's go into it and play Arrow Engine. All right, here we go. All right, we got that. D-pad, although it didn't look, doesn't look that great. It's not bad. It does, it does function pretty good. The diagonals in it seem to be pretty good. So it's not a totally horrible D-pad. Definitely not. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It, I will say that, even though it doesn't look. <laughs> that great. It's not, doesn't look like your traditional directional pad. It does feel okay. Not bad. It's definitely not like the, uh, the little Lexi book D pad that I played. Um, that blue one that had the flip up screen with the uh, little LCD Tiger electronic racing game on it. That the D pad was horrible on that one. But anyway, Arrow Engine. You can see what this game is. You've you've seen me. If you if you watched any of my videos, you know what this is already. So we're going to go ahead and hit the reset button. Get back out of this. We're going to go to Big Racing. Of course, there you go. Big Racing. It's going to be the racing game. All right. That dramatic music. Again, I would love to capture all these plug and play. Uh, the B but uh, A button. Start moving. Uh, I would love to catch all this music on, and put it on MP3 or CD format because that's the soundtrack of uh, the plug and plays. Soundtrack of your life there. Plug and play. But uh, again, this game, this actually is. I, I'm, I like this D pad. I mean, I'm not complaining about this D pad. This is really cool. The analog stick, same thing. The analog acts as the D pad. I'm hitting it. Going up and down. It's not as good the analog is not as good pressing the button it doesn't seem like it's uh, working for anything 
does that. So it gives you a little alternative to um, controls. If you don't like the D-pad, use the analog, or vice versa. So, eh, is what it is. Like I said, I like the D-pad. I'll, I'll use the D-pad. Bingo Zap. All right, that that doesn't sound too familiar. Okay, Bingo Zap. Okay, that's yeah. The cup in the the ball in the hole, like uh, like golf or something. You just basically move. It's got that little inertia feel to it. So, all right, we've got this. All right, hey, we did that. Bingo zap. Birdie nest. All right, here's that. Uh, my signal. I'm gonna let that signal get back in. Um, there we go. Birdie nest. Let's see what birdie nest. All right, I know at the plug and play I used before, it. Uh, this particular game messed up on my CRT, which is perfectly fine now. Basically, you balance the bird. You see that little line right there. You're balancing your little half little flamingo pelican, I don't know, thing, bird. Watch out the watch out for the poop. All right, don't let him get too far. See, because if you let him get too far and Boom, game over. There you go. You just got to balance it. Use your hand to balance. All right, here we go. All right, birdie nest. Let's try bolt fighter. I'm glancing over here, making sure my signal's in, stays in place, so that way I'm kind of making sure it, it'll, it'll appear on the capture. All right, one player, two player. Top score. All right, it's automatically... It was automatically cycling through the, uh, <laughs> the options there. All right, let's go ahead. Definitely better with turbo. Which your A button shoots. B is your, like, uh, bomb, whatever it is. All right. Again, I want to do a gameplay spotlight on these games, so I will definitely do it in depth. All right, not bad. All right, that was Bolt Fighter. So we're we're knocking these out. Build up road. We know what this is. Yep, yeah, this road road deal here. All right, this doesn't seem like it's true analog this uh, analog stick because it seemed true analog so hmm. uh, that's okay all right let's uh, let's build this road let's put this infrastructure all right here we go remember last time I'm ran out of certain pieces so I am going to make sure I don't do that again uh, let's go here do this. Well, I think I just messed up. Alright, here we go. Yep, there's definitely a certain way to do this. Alright, All right, no more pieces. So, yeah, I just messed up. I can. Yeah, you don't get your pieces back, so. Alright. Oh well. Alright. We got that one. That was build up road. That was. There's bump car. Yeah, let's pick the Mohawk guy. Build up car. Alright. Still trying to figure this game out. It's like road road pieces and it's like bump and jump but just like uh it's like a, a pot post apocalyptic uh <laughs> bump and jump the roads are tattered and, and bruised and 
beaten and all right I just picked up the word checkpoint literally picked up checkpoint the words all right oh can you can never get enough of these plug and plays <laughs> Well, like I said, the D-pad is, I'm pleasantly surprised by it, even though it just doesn't look aesthetically, you know, <laughs> like a normal, like your traditional D-pad. I still like it. It doesn't feel like it's too hard to press the button or press the direction, so. All right, enough of that. <laughs> Bump car, let's see. Catch the egg. Yep. Your big hand, I bet your yeah. Oh no, this is the inertia one, okay. Where it's kinda like your your slide, you don't stop like right away, you perfect. Of the Lexi book and Dream Gear plug and plays, the the best controllers I, I think is that Lexi book three hundred among the first plug-and-play that I did gameplays of way back months ago. I really think that's the best feeling D-pad because it is so close to the NES D-pad that it's uh... Oh, that that uh... it's the best feeling. Alright, we got Challenge 100 <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right. Now, this is the music. If there, I want this to be the the theme music of the plug and plays of the Lexi book, Dream Gear, knockoff plug and plays. This is the theme. It's just so emotional. Of course, this is kind of like a... Uh, I'm sure it's a uh, familiar game. I think this came out like on the uh, old computer consoles back in the day, like maybe Commodore or something. I know I think this is a, a variant of an old school game anyway. But yeah. That music just, just touches me. Anyway. All right, that was challenge 100. Crazy hit. Yes. <clears throat> Crazy hit. Let's get the start. Let's not help. All right, this is whack-a-mole. A button. Trying to get you, Mole. There we go. Just looks like it hurts. Alright. Seven. Eight out of thirteen. Right, you hit a direction. You hit a direction in the button and it goes to a certain it assigns the whack-a-mole hole to a direction. Up, down, left, and right in the diagonals. So that was crazy hit. Dark Champion. Oh, there's that game. I know there's a way to play this. Like I don't use my D-pad for anything. Hmm. Okay, we we get all right. <laughs> Dark Champion, Dragon Fire. All right. 
Snake. Snake or Dragon Fire. Dragon Poker. Alright, this is that poker game. Dragon Poker here. Alright. No I know there's some way to do this. Maybe there's a queen. The ten. Let's see. The start button. Alright, yeah. Starts over. Alright. Dragon Poker. There was no sense in dragging it out. <laughs> anyway. Alright. Dump Lori Race. Alright, yes. Now this is... This is okay. I remember Dump Lori Race. Yeah, not bad. Not one of the best, but... There, there's like a uh, motorcycle version of this. It's probably the same game, just hacked graphics. But there was like a slower version, motorcycle version, that is not that great. Surprised there's no turn animation, like angled turn for this vehicle when you go around the corners. Alright. Ah! Alright, cool. Alright. I think we're we're good with that. Dump Lori Race. Uh, let's see here. We got Elfland up next. Let's get that signal back in if we can. There we go. Elfland. Alright, now this is running black and white on my CRT TV but it's color on the uh, capture device, so. All right, this is gonna be hard to, <laughs> this is hard to play in black and white. I'm just gonna tell you right now, obviously. Uh, I actually had to peek at the, uh, I have to peek at the uh, capture device, the capture screen to see, and it's got lag, so. There's no, can't play that. Wow, how incredibly frustrating and difficult. All right. All right, this is in black and white, so I am just going to get out of that. Elfland. All right, here we go. Excel Racing. Right. All right, this is that uh, overhead view where you have to get the flags. Music slows just like the other plug and play. The music slows down. All right, let's go down here. All right. There you drop the big, big pile of poop or whatever that is. Like they can't handle the pro it can't handle the processing of this game. All right, can I make it? Boom. All right, here we go. Next stage. All right, here we go. We are. How's Excel Racing? Firefighter. All right. This is the uh, breakout clone type of game. Kind of fun, I like it. It's very unusual, off the wall, goofy. Of 
course, I'm a sucker for any breakout clone, so... Money too. All right. Throw out those life savings. Might as well. It'll, it'll burn up if you don't. Oh, that was close. Anyway, that was firefighter. Fish catcher. This is the one with the big, long arm guy. Yep. And there's bombs that'll pop out of the uh, ocean. Oh, ouch. That hurt my hand. Alright. Alright, that was Fish Catcher. Gear Race next. Yeah. Kind of fast, but because this D-pad's pretty good, I'm not, I don't feel... I don't feel like it hurts it. it. Brings the gameplay down. It doesn't because it's a good D-pad. This very same game on that other plug and play, the LexiBook, the little small one, the blue one, is just the D-pad just brought this game down a ton. A lot of the games down a ton. So I'm cool. I'm cool with this. Looks like a bunch of uh, maybe garbage trucks battling out for supremacy over the uh, residential areas. They're rushing to pick up people's uh, cans. It's a sanitation wars. Alright, that was Gear Race. Try golden arrow. All right. All right. The wind. Okay, this is like a dark game. Hold down the A button to power your shot, and then let go. And you'll shoot. Boom. Okay. Hmm. All right. All right. Good. Golden Arrow GP race. Hmm. Oh yeah. All right. That dramatic music. Alright, here we go. Oh, man. Fast. Whoa, watch it, buddy. Ah, I, was, I was hoping you could recover. Like, you get hit. I was hoping you can kind of recover and just continue the race, but it looks like... Wow. Hmm. Comes up on you so fast, the obstacles. Hmm. Guess you really do have to be a pro at this. But... Well, no, oh no, recover. No. Okay. Anyway, that was GP Race. Grass Cutter. Hmm. We know what this game's about. Yep. Let's cut that grass and anything new. Anything new that grows. And not Konami sound effects. All 
right. Passing that grass. Alright. Alright, let's do... Insect chase. Yay, insects. Alright, come here, buddy. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> I do get it. Oh, I get it. bonus bug here. There we go. I lost? I guess I don't get that bug. Alright. Oh, it's a bee. That's why. I got stung. Okay. Alright. That was insect chase. How exciting. Alright. Let's do... Jewel Master. Right. This is like a columns. So yeah, we played this. Okay. Yep. Jumping ball. No, oh, baby. So that one. Yep. All right. Not sure how you can. There we go. Perfect. Great. You're happy I'm not. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. It is it is what it is. Um, that's part one of the Dream Gear 50 games in one plug and play. Another, another version of all these games. So we'll jump back into part two with starting number 26, Last Cabra. But we know what all these games are, so... I mean, unless you're new to my channel, you, 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 you'll be entertained at some of these uh, generic games, possibly. <laughs> but long-time viewers, yeah, we know what's going on. So join me for part two of this 50-in-1 plug-and-play.